Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy at Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So it's the final video on the original Blackfoot. Now, if you've watched this series, I ended up on the last video doing the whole shell. Totally original, brand new body set, original decals. It looks absolutely superb, but I didn't want to attempt the chrome grill um, by brush because there's, there's two ways of doing this grill. There's the the body set instructions, the original ones, the whole centre part is black. There's no chrome coming through it whatsoever. But on my <coughs> excuse me, on my group, um, people leave the the chrome bars to separate it up with the black behind it and it looks so much better. So there was no chance I could have masked that um, and did, done it with a brush. So I've bought um, a paint pen, black paint pen. Um, so I'm going to try do it with that. So I am a little bit concerned how it's going to work out because these are like rocking horse poo to get all. It's not as if I can. Problem is, you know, if you make a mistake and if I go to wipe the paint off, um, if it comes off, great. But if it doesn't, you know, I can't use like Tammy polycarbonate cleaner on it to take that layer of paint off because it'll damage the chrome underneath. So I've really got to get this right. And the, the, the four light buckets as well. The inside stays chrome, but the, the four edges around it stay, um, they, they get painted black with the chrome outer. So it's a little bit of a mission, this one. So um, let's get cracking. Right, so that's just to give you an idea of how the grill looks. So forgetting the four lights, it's the outside of the lights that go black, but it's this bit. So as I said, in the original body set instructions, this whole middle section is supposed to be black. But the guys I've seen, they leave the chrome main bars, horizontal and vertical chrome, and it looks way better. So that's what I'm going to attempt. Now, I guess the good thing about that is, if I really struggle to get the lines correct, then I've got the the scope to go full black anyway if that makes sense so it's a little bit of a win-win for me if I'm honest so next step I'll, uh, I'll whiz this body shell off and we'll take that front grill off right so that's what it looks like close up fair bit of work also above the main bumper here between the grill lines there's this is supposed to be a black line as well which uh, I might really struggle to get into I was thinking maybe when I'm done, I've got some black line tape I might put across there. I know it's not sort of the correct way to do it, but I can get really nice crisp black lines with that. But anyway, we'll leave that to the end. So, let me just dig a pen out. So this is from a local hobby store. What make is that? Craft Smart. So, obviously, black paint pen. Extra fine tip. So I'll get this a really I'll get this really shaken up well, and I'll get the nib flowing well, um, and then we'll make a star. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to have a look. I'll have to put my my glasses on, but I'll uh, I'll figure out how to do it. I'm just thinking. I'm, just, I'm looking at this top corner. I'm just wondering if I just do the back section alone. Anyway, I'll get one done, or I'll attempt one, and then I'll come back. Right, that's the first layer on, and um, goes on really easy. I do need to touch it up slightly, but you get the gist of it with the the black and then the chrome sort of main bars getting left. It's really easy to do. You've got really good control with that paint pen. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do the light buckets now, which I've got to make sure I get that 100% right, those initial first lines. Anyway, let's get cracking. Right, that's pretty much that done. Light buckets are done. I do need to touch it up slightly once it's dry, but um, yeah, you get the gist of it where the black goes. Looks pretty cool, if I'm honest. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dig out that tape and just put it on, see what it looks like on the bottom, just above the number plate, just while that's drying. Right, that's that grill finished. And as I said, I just used line tape for the bottom. Um, I wouldn't have done that if it hadn't have been a shelf queen. Um, I would have probably tried to get some paint in there but um, yeah I just think I, with a line tape I could get straight aligned so yeah let's get that on the um, shell now right I sit back on the shell and what a difference that makes when the grill was off it 
didn't look that different but once it's on now that extra detail really pays off really liking that that looks uh, way better and again we it now finished off what a difference that makes I'm uh, I'm actually really surprised myself at the the difference in it as I say with the grill on its own didn't look particularly different but um, now as a finished truck that is absolutely superb well I'm really happy with that so it was only a little short video of this one but um, I've been sort of meaning to get this one finished and sort of out the door for a long time um, but I'm really happy just with the overall finish of this truck obviously it's all original so it has to be pretty spot on um, just out of interest for any of you Tamiya nerds like me um, you might think that the bottom front lights needed to be painted orange because some guys do that that's not actually um, box art on the original truck um, when I was doing it I did double check because it would have been really easy to put to brush pre uh, brush paint orange on and then go around with the black paint pen again but um, yeah I checked on the pictures as you googled it first with the old guidebook pictures it, and it looks silver and then I remembered I had the box for this um, original body set dug the instructions out and yeah it uh, there's no orange in sight so although it probably would look better with the bottom lights done in orange you know I'm a when I do box art, it wants to be kind of 100% box art, which this now is. So, yeah, very happy with that. Um, paint pens. I, um, if, you, if you like how I was and you've sort of never used them and you, your painting skills aren't the best like mine and you were struggling with small brushes for the detail, I honestly can't tell you how good these paint pens are. I've got a selection of them now. Um, black silver chrome you know sort of all the main colors for the detailing work and it's just so much easier you know it, it it doesn't take it's still difficult to do but obviously controlling a pen as opposed to a brush for me is just way easier than an absolute godsend so yeah i'll be i'll be doing more of that kind of work but anyway yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks so much for watching it's really appreciated if this is your first time on this channel please consider liking and subscribing to support us and if you do that smash that notification bell for our weekly videos that'd be absolutely fantastic and very much appreciated so as always guys happy seeing.